Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. Welcome back to my hotel room here in beautiful Tokyo. Today, I'm going to be tasting a bunch of Kit Kat flavors that I've collected the past couple of days while I've been here in Tokyo. More specifically, I've been in Shibuya. But before I do that, I want to tell you a little bit more about today's sponsor, which is Simple Health. Now, Simple Health is a wonderful resource for people who need birth control. Now, I know this might be a little bit controversial for some of you, but I think women's health is really important and birth control is part of that because it helps people make decisions that could affect the rest of their lives. Super important. And Simple Health is great because it allows you to take control of your own health. So Simple Health is simple. You go online, you fill out a health profile, which is then reviewed by a doctor. The doctor will then see if you're suitable for birth control and make some suggestions for you, write you a prescription. And if you have health insurance, more than likely it will be free. Otherwise you can get birth control as low as $15 a month and it comes discreetly right to your doorstep. There's no hassle and having to go to the pharmacy, spend any time doing that. It comes right to your doorstep. You don't have to worry about missing a pack, missing a day, or any lapses in your prescription because it arrives right to your doorstep. So Simple Health was something that I could have really used when I was in college particularly after I graduated college because I knew I wouldn't have access to my clinic. And that was really worrisome for me. But if I had something like Simple Health, it would have been great because it would have just been taken care of. So if you're interested in trying Simple Health, be sure to click the link down below or head over to simplehealth.com slash Emmy or just use the code Emmy when you're checking out. So big thanks to Simple Health for supporting women's health and for supporting my channel. Now, let's get to the Kit Kats. So I've tasted many, many Japanese Kit Kats and I will put a link down below to the Kit Kat playlist, but I have never purchased this many Kit Kats in Japan or tasted them in Japan. So here we go. So I found the majority of these flavors at a place called Don Quixote. If you've missed my Don Quixote haul video, I will put a link to that video down below as well. That was in Hawaii. And here in Shibuya, they have a mega Don Quixote. And now Don Quixote is an incredible store. And the one they have in Shibuya is the mega store. And how do you describe it? It is a just amalgam of everything and anything you can think of. It's part department store, part pharmacy, part dollar store, gifty store, variety store, just everything chocked full of all kinds of obscure, interesting things that are Japanese and not. So it also includes lots of Japanese Kit Kat flavors. So the first one I'm going to try is this one, and this is just the original Kit Kat. But what's different about this series is that the bags are made out of paper rather than plastic, and they're kind of pitching it as a way to reuse the paper and make origami cranes. Inside, in a very Japanese fashion, are individually wrapped Kit Kats. Great for portion control, great for sharing. So my plan is to make little gift packs of all these Kit Kat flavors, and I will do a little giveaway on my social media. So make sure to follow and subscribe so you can learn more about the Kit Kat giveaway. So let's go ahead and taste the original. Look, they even give you a spot to put a little message so you can give that to your friends. Okay. I haven't had a Kit Kat in a long time. I know, Halloween just passed, but I haven't been eating my kids' Halloween candy. I haven't. I really haven't. Super cute. Give me a break. Breaks nice and cleanly. <sighs> smells, actually smells like Rolos. It reminds me of a Rolos. Vanilla, chocolate, Halloween candy. All right, here we go. 
Mm. Got some good stuff. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. So you've got cookie wafer in there, about three layers, all surrounded by milk chocolate, which is pleasantly sweet and chocolatey. And the chocolate to wafer ratio definitely leans toward the chocolate side, so it's not like you're having a cookie. It's definitely more candy bar-ish. Next, we have the Kit's Cat in the paper bag, and this is strong matcha. Matcha, of course, is green tea powder. Again, it's being promoted as potential origami material. I have to say, I like the paper packaging, like it. Inside those, they're not paper. They're not paper at all. Is my hair being cooperative? You would tell me if it wasn't, right? Yeah. Okay. Yesterday, I went to the pharmacy and I was trying eyeliners and they said they were waterproof. They weren't kidding. I took a shower and I soaked this and I scrubbed this and I still have bits of eyeliner on my hand. It's hardcore, hardcore. Okay, now look at that color. Isn't that beautiful? So nice and dark. So definitely darker than the original Matcha Kit Kat, which you can find at any convenience store here. Okay. Mm. It's so good. I love matcha. Now, not everyone's gonna like matcha because matcha has a strong bitter flavor to it. It's ground up green tea leaves. So it is bitter, but there's sugar in here. And of course there's cocoa butter and that equals white chocolate. And that combination with the bitter matcha is just so, so good. It cuts the sweetness, but you can still taste the matcha, especially at the end. So there's the wafer inside, and once again, the balance of the sweet chocolate with the cookie crisp wafer is perfect. One of my favorite flavors. Continuing with the paper bag series is this one, and this is the last one, and this is a dark, dark chocolate. And this one looks like this. Beautiful. Oh, yes, look at that. So I think this is gonna be similar to the dark matcha. I think it's gonna have a nice bitterness to it. The snap is a little bit different. It's not as soft, it's a little bit crisper. And it still smells of chocolate, but it's not so kind of sweet and vanilla. It definitely smells more of cocoa. Yeah. Ah. Mm. I think I actually prefer this to the original. I know it's like sacrilegious to say, but I think I do. This one doesn't taste as sweet. The flavor of the chocolate is more pronounced. The snap is a little bit crisper. I think I actually like the texture of the original one better. It's a little bit more creamy and less snappy, but that's just the nature of dark chocolate versus milk chocolate. Mm. I just really like the increased intensity of the chocolate flavor of this one. Excellent. If you like dark chocolate, you'll like this one for sure. I've got bang issues. Not that kind of bang issues, but you know what I mean? And this is apple pie flavor. Apple pie. And this great purple bag here. Whoa. I can smell the apple pie flavor through the plastic. It smells like apple. That's impressive. It smells like a tart apple. Wow. Oh. Look, for Halloween, there are little ghosty ghosts on there. So Halloween is kind of celebrated in Japan, but kids don't really go knocking on doors and dress up in Halloween costumes. They do dress up a bit, but it's more kind of for novelty sake. You'll see lots of kind of Halloween themed foods and it's very cute. It's not really scary Halloween. It's really kind of nice. Lots of purples and oranges for Halloween here. And that also includes this candy bar, which is purple kind of a lavender color. It breaks very cleanly, and there is a distinct smell of apple. But it's like apple pie, it is like apple pie, like an apple turnover. It smells a little bit buttery, like pastry buttery, amazing. How do they do that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. I'm really surprised by that, because initially, you get sweetness, you get some apple flavor, and then as you go on, you get the crunch of the wafer, 
and then it really tastes like buttery crust or pie crust or something or pastry that's impressive i have you know i'm not a huge apple pie person but this tastes like apple pie i don't think there's any cinnamon in there there's also a nice little bit of tartness too so there's a kind of apple tartness that's what i love actually in apple pie i don't like an overly sweet pie as probably you can imagine so there's a little bit of acidity that's great mm-hmm this is the ichigo flavor this is strawberry kit kat just plain old strawberry all right strawberry ichigo kit kat here is the bar whoa that smells really strongly of strawberry wow intensely so it smells also a little bit sour too there's little flecks in there so maybe there's little bits of dried strawberry don't know wow it reminds me of strawberry shortcake little figurines my neighbor used to have them and they used to be scented and we used to huff those things we're like strawberry shortcake this isn't quite the same strawberry shortcake smelled more like a air freshener this doesn't smell like an air freshener this smells more like have you ever had those freeze-dried strawberries and you open the bag and then you smell that it smells more natural with a little bit of a kind of yogurty smell which i don't know about that all right let's give this a taste mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah definitely getting a yogurt vibe here there's a tanginess which i found very surprising i thought oh this is going to taste like strawberry pokey and it doesn't it's more acidic so a little bit more sophisticated than just plain old strawberry pokey. Next, I have a classic chocolate combination and it's chocolate orange. Look at this packaging. Isn't that perfect for fall? Ooh, I smell a little bit of orange. Not much. I smell mostly kind of like a milk chocolate smell. This looks a little bit darker than just regular milk chocolate. Snaps very cleanly. Ah, mm -hmm. Oh yeah, definitely orange. So I'm not a huge fan of regular chocolate and fruit combinations together, particularly orange. I know it's a classic combination. I know there are lots and lots of candies and chocolates that have chocolate and orange together. I just don't really care for it. Yeah. Mm. I feel like the orange almost overpowers the flavor of the chocolate. Not my particular flavor, but taste is subjective. If you like that combination of chocolate and orange, then you will adore this. It's just not for me. And this is Sakura and Kinako. So Sakura, of course, are the beautiful cherry blossoms that bloom in the spring. And Kinako is toasted soy flour. And it's used a lot to flavor traditional Japanese sweets. It has a kind of nutty, toasted, roasted flavor. Really lovely. You find it sometimes on top of mochi. So this one has kind of a beige color to it. And it smells like a cake cone. You know those ice cream cones that are light and fluffy rather than being hard and crisp? They're lighter and crunchier and they can actually stand up on their own. That's a cake cone. And that's exactly what this smells like. Wow. And that's what it tastes a lot like too. It tastes like a cake cone when you have an ice cream cone with a slight little perfume of sakura, which is lovely cherry blossom flavor sometimes i find sakura flavor to be a little bit too strong just too floral almost like some of those violet candies that you can get in the uk just like whoa sakura is not quite that strong but it can be it's very floral but in this case it works really well because i feel like the first flavor that i taste is the kinako which is toasted and just tastes like those ice cream cones it's really nice party ice cream i've never had this flavor before and it looks like it's gonna be like a soft serve style of ice cream. So these are fun. Look, the wrapping. These bars are a little bit different. They come in pink, yellow, and blue with little different messages. Yummy, sweet, happy, LOL. So this one's like an off-white color and it's got little flecks in it. Little flecks of brown. It smells very strongly of vanilla. It smells actually a lot like vanilla soft serve. Yeah, very strong vanilla flavor with a little bit of that butter scent too. A little bit like funfetti cake smell or birthday cake. All right, let's give this a taste. Mmm, <laughs> that's good. That's really rich. 
it does taste like ice cream. I'm so impressed. It actually tastes like whipped cream. It has a kind of fatty, buttery flavor to it. Nuts! Hmm, that tastes exactly like soft serve. I am so impressed. That's up there with the apple pie in terms of just surprising me in terms of its accuracy of tasting like what it's supposed to represent. Yes, this tastes like vanilla soft serve. I haven't figured out what the little brown flecks are. Maybe they're supposed to be like vanilla bean. I don't know. It's really good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. Hey, my lovelies, I am at home and I have a few more Kit Kats that I have gathered and I thought why not include them in this mega Japanese Kit Kat taste test. So it's Kyoho Grape and it's in this tiny little box here. You open it like this and there are three of them inside. The grape smell is actually pretty subtle. It smells more of like a sweet white chocolate. It's this beautiful kind of pale lavender color. You like that. That's a very light grape flavor. Now when you taste a lot of grape flavored candies in Japan, they have a really great intense kind of like Concord grape flavor. It kind of tastes like a scuppernong or a muscadine grape. It tastes really great concentrated grape flavor. And this doesn't really have that. It doesn't taste artificial. It's just a really subtle kind of grape flavor. Next we have this one. And this is hojicha, and hojicha is a roasted tea. Here's the bag right here, hojicha, as it says, roasted tea. Um, I have had this flavor before, but it's been a long time. There it is, kind of a ecru color to it, a bit like sesame seeds. <laughs> really captures the flavor of hojicha. It has this really nice brown color to it, and a deeply almost smoky, roasted, toasted, nutty flavor. And it's delicious. They really captured it in this Kit Kat. Although hojicha is not sweet at all. This is sweet because it's a Kit Kat. So you've got a bit of that kind of white chocolate flavor in there. It tastes a little bit like halva. If you've ever had those kind of sesame seed paste candies, that's what it tastes like. And this is another sake flavored Kit Kat, but this time it's sakura sake. And so this combines cherry blossoms with sake. Oh my gosh, and I can already Smell this sake, the whole bag smells like sake. It's kind of amazing. I love it. Ooh, it almost smells like Play-Doh. Wow. I wouldn't say that's exactly pleasant. Mmm. Very strong sakura flavor, which is the cherry blossom, floral, slightly air freshenery, and then you get the sake second, which makes this taste like Play-Doh. Not that I've ever actually eaten play-doh no i take that back i've probably eaten play-doh and this is what <laughs> this tastes like <laughs> mm -hmm. it's not entirely unpleasant and certainly non-toxic <laughs> but it's not really what i want my kit kat bar tasting like all right let's go back to japan all right so my next round of kit kats actually are commemorative souvenir boxed kit kats and they look like this. So about three years ago, the last time I was in Japan, I did a series with Tastemade where I learned more about the specific flavors of Kit Kats and a couple of these flavors were in that series. So if you haven't seen that, definitely check it out. I'll put a link down below to those videos. Each one is supposed to represent a specific area of Japan. So you would get this as an omeyage or kind of a souvenir gift for your friends at home saying that I was thinking of you on my trip to Hiroshima and I brought you some Kit Kats. That's why they're packaged so nicely. So this one is Momuji Manju, which is this little sweet treat right here. It's kind of like a pancake batter on the outside. It's a shape of a beautiful maple leaf and inside is filled with atsuki sweetened bean paste, which I find delicious. And you open it like this. Ta -da. Doesn't that make it more special? It does. So the break doesn't go all the way across. It goes maybe a little past halfway. And then embossed on the top is a maple leaf there. Isn't that beautiful? We'll see if this design affects the break at all. Yes, look. <sighs> Unequal. Wow. How did they do it? Totally captures 
the anko, which is the atsuki bean paste. It tastes like it. It tastes like beans that are sweetened with sugar. For some Westerners, I know it's a little bit difficult flavor to kind of enjoy. I really like it. And this one comes from Yokohama, and this is the strawberry cheesecake flavor. This one has the brick all the way across. And this is kind of a slightly off-white in color. Wow, again, I can very distinctly smell that strawberry scent. Hmm. This one reminds me more of strawberry shortcake scent. It's sweeter, it's kind of more vanilla. This is supposed to have cheesecake, so am I tasting cheesecake? Not particularly. I taste kind of a dairied flavor, and again, kind of a strawberry pokey flavor, but this one is not acidic as the other one. It tastes more like strawberry pokey. Mm -hmm. And this is wasabi, and this comes from Shizuoka, which is an area very famous for its wasabi. And this right here is what the wasabi looks like, true wasabi, and it is a root. And most wasabi that we taste in the West is actually made from horseradish that has been dyed. And it is grated on a special grater that's made out of shark skin. So that has enough roughness to create this paste, which you eat with your sashimi or your sushi. So here we go, wasabi flavor. I have had this one before. It's been a long time. So here are the wasabi. And that's the bar right there. Kind of honeydew in color. And when I smell it, I don't smell any wasabi. It just smells sweet. All right, let's give that a taste. Oh, mm, yeah. But when I taste it, I definitely taste the wasabi. You know what you're getting into when you buy this, because you're like, it's wasabi kika. And it definitely tastes like it, but it's not overpowering, and it still remains a candy bar. It's sweet, and it still remains pretty pleasant, surprisingly enough. Still a candy bar first and wasabi flavored second. And yeah, not bad. Do I want more of it though? No, I don't. <laughs> one more box souvenir set, and this one comes from Hokkaido, which is way up north in Japan. And this is the Hokkaido Atsuki and strawberry flavor. Again, very, very pretty. So I think this is what I was imagining when I was imagining a strawberry flavor. It's kind of cute pink color. Again, very strong strawberry scent. Mm-hmm. All right, here we go. There it is. Very different than the other two strawberry flavors. Each their own kind of unique strawberry flavors. And this one is no different. You can definitely taste that tsuki. I think it's actually a nice little balance there of bean paste to strawberry. It's definitely more like a strawberry pokey rather than kind of a natural strawberry flavor though. And it has that very familiar pink strawberry pokey color to it as well. Alrighty, I have one flavor left and it is this one. It too comes in a box and this is Kit Kat sake flavor, but it's ume sake flavor. So I've had the sake flavor, it was a couple years ago, and I was again very impressed with how they were able to capture the sake flavor. Ume is um, plum, so this is gonna be plum flavored sake. Okay, so we open it from the top here. Oh, look at this. This is packaged completely differently. And it smells like Ume, it smells like plum and sake. That's so crazy. Sake, of course, is rice wine. That's so nuts. It smells like it already. Oh, my God, okay. Wow. I don't particularly care for it, but it tastes like plum sake. It captures that flavor of rice wine and plum, which is this very floral, sweet flavor. And then just add a little sugar to that, or a lot of sugar actually, and some white chocolate, and you get this. I don't care for it because I don't like the additional sweetness to sake. I know I have to be reminded that I'm eating a candy bar. So I think it is 100% accurate in terms of flavor which I am totally impressed with. Is it something that I want to eat or crave? No, not at all. But again, I am super impressed with the accuracy of the flavor of this. 
I don't know how they do it, but it's some kind of magic. Yeah, impressive. Alrighty, so there you have it. I believe 12 or 13 different flavors. I've lost count. So many flavors of Kit Kat bought and tasted here in Japan. Absolute pleasure as always. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you guys enjoyed my little slice of Tokyo while I've been here. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. And big thanks to Simple Health for sponsoring this video. If you'd like to try Simple Health for free, click the link down below or head over to simplehealth.com slash Emmy or use the code Emmy when you check out. Thanks again for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media, like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo, take care, bye, sayonara.